Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, welcome to Saturday the fifth. It's a day that Avery has been looking forward to quite some time, and I honestly have been looking forward to it with him as well. Okay, thank you, old people. You are continually going to block the road as always. But I'm off to Avery's house because we're gonna we're gonna meet up at Avery's house, and we're gonna head down to go to the filming location, which is actually not that far from Avery's house, so shouldn't actually be that bad. I didn't turn some of this off. So it's just, I'm perfectly fine with the temperature the way it is now. It doesn't need to be any cooler, doesn't need to be any warmer. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so this is Avery's set. Uh, <coughs> it's a zombie film. I don't know how much of it I'm allowed to give away, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to, well, I'm going to talk to Avery first and just see how much of it he wants. Avery, Avery probably wants a plug for all I know, which I'm fine giving, but I want to just make sure that he's okay with, with us giving things away. So, but I mean, it's still part of my life that I'm going to work for him, and he's been on before. When was the last time Avery was on the vlog? It's been it's been quite some time. He showed up for a little while for on the vlog before I left, but I don't think I've seen him since I got back. I mean, my memory has been really bad this morning, so I might be completely screwing it up. But Avery was there for a little while on yeah, because Kevin was the one who didn't show up on you all psycho Browns. Um of the, the original six of us. But, uh, regardless, I haven't seen Avery in quite some time. I don't think since I've gotten back from LA, so it's gonna be nice to go, uh, to go actually pay Avery a visit. Go film some things. I have all the gear in the back and in the trunk, so I'm excited. It's gonna be a fun day. Hopefully at least somewhat relaxed, but also somewhat demanding, because I don't want to be doing nothing. Kind of looking forward to it. It's only nine o'clock in the morning right now, so it's actually a fairly late call. But also, daylight saving time starts tomorrow, so I get an hour back anyway. Tomorrow's 25 hours long, which is nice. Okay, I was going to go there, you jackass. My God, people. Yeah. Okay. My GPS does have me have me going this way. So try. I'm pretty sure I remember where. Um, where where I went where I'm going Avery says I haven't been there in quite some time I haven't been there since that day on the vlog what, right before the vlog ended I forget what it was called I think it was just called ah or something like that where, where we recorded some drum beats for Avery in his basement and that was the last time I was at Avery's place so it's been quite some time quite some time indeed uh, but I'm excited. It should be fun. And I get to go, I get to go record some, some nice audio. I am surely excited. A thousand two hundred dollars. And here we see the wild Avery getting set up to do film stuff. What's going on? Avery, we haven't seen you in a while. Because I don't think we've seen each other since I got back from LA. It's been a while. Dude. Yeah. It's been an absolutely a while. Unless my memory's fa fading, the last time I saw you was that party right before I left. I think. See, the thing is, it wasn't like you ever left because we don't see each other on a casual basis. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just normal for us. Yeah, because it's not like where we used to hang out every week. Yeah, this isn't a real scar, by the way. I don't know if you've seen me in the prior vlogs, but this is makeup, which I'm absolutely incredible at. Right, Matt? Avery's had some sex-based injuries since uh, the last time we saw him. <laughs> I saw you, I, I was actually going to ask you what happened. I got slashed with a bottle when I was seven. That's actually the story behind this. Alright, are you going? Oh, you've been recording? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Well, here we are now on way to the set. The next four or five cars in front of me are also on the way. I am the last in the train right now. Um, okay, so as you can see here, I don't know how far up you can see, but Avery's truck is in the front of the line, and I am here in the back. We are heading, um, it's just a really nice day. Quite enjoy it. Uh, heading towards uh, somewhere in Van Salem. It's actually not in the city at all, which is kind of the nice thing. Also, there's stop signs here. Kind of important. Of course, we got broken up on the chain. 
but we can still see Avery, so that's all that's important. It's gonna be fun. Me going, um, fine. And you know what? I'm not gonna interrogate you about it. Am I in it? No. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be there. Um, alright. I'm just trying to think, huh? Well, we've been working for a few hours now. It's already 2.40 in the afternoon. So here's my nomad for the moment. Because we're doing an MOS take, which is why I have the MOS circled down there and a little... It's the, it's the establishing shot. I'm holding it properly for MOS. I'll try to get Avery to give you a tour of the set a little bit. I go get the pizza. So, <laughs> and spoiler alert. Avery White, checking in here. Oh my God, I'm so narcissistic. Let me start over. Keep this all in though. Okay. So uh, today we're working on this upcoming film that I am upcomingly working on upcoming. And um, I promised them you'd show them around the set. Give them a little guided tour. I'm going to. I'm sort of giving yep. you a nice little introduction, even though I already have. I don't know why I'm doing this. So uh, here we got our very, very good cast member, Satori Burner. She is a uh, film student at Harvard. Yeah, that's bullshit. Um, so we set up a little, like a makeshift tent, so, you know, give the zombie apocalypse vibe, season one of the Walking Dead vibe. Um, we picked a neutral color for it, and then uh, to sort of balance things out, we have a darker color cot sort of thing going on here with a nice unloaded weapon going on. Here we got our sound stuff over here. Fuck you, Brandon. Here we got our sound stuff over here looking real good, thanks to the man behind the camera. If you want to turn it around to show yourself, because they totally don't know what you already look like. Fantastic. Yeah, he's written that for us from Drexel. It's about $10,000 worth of equipment that I am using for free. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. And then uh, we wrap stuff up right here with uh, a couple lawn chairs. Um, right here we actually have a game going. It's not really fluently explained in the film, but what we got going on here for every time a piece is captured, they move a piece of candy more towards their side. That's their piece of candy. And then whoever gets the opponent's king takes the big cat bar. Though, like, this is the ultimate prize. So uh, that's something they're playing for, but then mid, mid um, competition, things get a little heated. Not in, never mind, cut it. <laughs> you didn't cut it. Yes, camera, I know it's dark, but the lens cover is open. So that blood stain on the ground over there and the shopping cart is kind of the last little remnants of set because we're all packed up. But you can see we have no light. Right, are we all good? Yeah. All right, let's head out together. So we don't all get lost in the woods. I think I should leave. Oh, I don't know how to get out of here. You can take the heat. Well, I have left Avery set now and I'm heading back towards home because I've got to go get shit done. Actually, that's a lot. I've got to relax. It's been a long day because it's already 6.30 at night. We were supposed to wrap like an hour ago. But Avery kind of... Avery's never done a set with sync sound before because most of their sound is recreated in post. Um, but they brought me along because they were like, yeah, we might as well just use sync sound. And just having to slate everything for sync sound does take significantly longer than pressing the button on 10 second at a time bursts. So, I think every kind of learned that one. That, uh, that sync sound does definitely take a little bit longer. 1,000 feet, turn left onto Pascalone Boulevard. Is that this? I think that's this. So we need to get out because there's people everywhere. Not here. Not here. Not here. Okay. Oh no! Of course, it's the really crowded Boulevard with you know all the cars and whatnot that I somehow have to make a left turn out of here for. That place! Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Hopefully not, because it's, it's fucking 6.30 on a Saturday. Oh, everybody's got a stop sign, actually. Perfect. Now, uh, back home, I guess. It's a fun set, but it's over now, and it's time to be done. And time for, time for a nap.